Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shenanigans. How are you guys doing today? Oh, uh, good, good. Doing awesome. Doing all right. Uh, I just lost an hour because of daylight saving, so it's now 6 a.m. instead of 5 a.m. That's all right, right? Yeah, yeah. Good. You'll get it back later. Think of it as you're banking that hour in some sort of like um, time bunker. And in six months, you can withdraw your earnings from the bunker uh, <clears throat> to help you with your life later down the road. It's but really the, the, the advanced bunker economy. You made it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the good old bunker economy. Right, right. You gotta earn okay. interest on your bunkers. <laughs> we salvage them. Uh, good shit. How are the rest of you doing? Doing great. Well, I mean, doing better now that we've talked about bunker economy. It's, it's important. Mm hmm. Does Part anyone else it. need to know about the bunker economy? Do you guys do you guys know about this? How many of you used to play StarCraft and watch competitive StarCraft? Bunker economy. Oh, good job, Brian. I'm glad to see that hand go up. Well done. I mean, I did too. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Well, here you guys are in shenanigans. Uh, looks like we've got a similar cast of characters to what we usually have. Let's just introduce Kenneth. Also named Nathan temporarily, but I've changed it, so it's back to Kenneth. Oh, uh, can you? Yeah, yeah. I think the default tokens was saved wrong, but yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's I, I, yeah. Who's Kenneth? Yeah. Uh, Ken Kenneth is a cleric of uh, Marfa, uh, who's in from Wickthorn Laurenta. He's got white hair or grey hair, uh, uh, pr prematurely grey hair, and uh, is well, he's here to spread the love of Martha to the world and he hasn't died recently at all okay. yeah yes what's going on who the fuck are you i remember you fucking drowned what what are you talking about my son you're dead what the fuck are you <laughs> doing here kobold. silly kobold what do you know oh gee it's almost like i was there on the boat when you just like walked right in that siren's arms and you're like this won't go poorly at all and then she just fucking pew, Straight into the drink. What boat are you talking about? Whoa, wait a second. Does that mean that you're undead? You've got an un I'm not undead. You're I even undead. got the spell turn undead. He, he was uh, turbo. Dude, he's straight up. Just all right. down you in the water. Just turn undead on yourself right now. All right, give me a second. No, no, this is too coincidental. Gray, premature gray hair. He even looks the fucking same. What? Mm. His name? What'd you say your name was? Uh, Kenneth. Yeah, same fucking name. All right. The same guy. What's Give me a willpower here? check here, Kenneth. All right. Uh, <laughs> 16. All right. You attempt to turn undead. You don't change but you do hear this like squeaking as maybe a, a half dozen skeletal rats scurry out from underneath <laughs> this staircase down this way and out the front door and are gone sorry sorry doreen <laughs> how do you know who doreen is i don't know who doreen is who's that i just saw a perfume shop on the way in all right, yeah, it was now good just... thinking of me. Now we can speak freely with no rats to overhear us. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to speak about? <laughs> this guy's dead. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I didn't encounter an El Eldritch portal to another dimension and we... Uh, it wasn't even fucking down. Eldritch. Are you sure there wasn't a portal? Oh, I agree. There was a portal. I didn't used to have gray fur. Well, in through the door. And you didn't make any dark magic packs with witches? No, you absolutely did. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. You, you got a fucking werewolf liver inside of there, bud. What? I don't know what you're talking about. You're looking for. Well, I mean, you wouldn't are. remember it. You were, you were dead as shit. Are you sure it was me, or was it someone from somewhere else? No, it, Kenneth, the cleric of Bartha from Wickthorn Arenta. 
Gray hair. He shows me. Wasn't me from the future. Martha, he's of life. So maybe Mar- Martha brought him back. No, there's been no resurrections in the past 1,500 years, as you know, sir. No but one has been anyway, brought back from the death. Martha, right? Well, well the thing is, you... The thing is, souls... Had- souls are, upon death, the soul of a person is torn apart and reformed to new souls by Martha. Like, that's how reincarnation is occurring, but you don't have most of the soul recurring into the same person. Souls aren't, they don't get kept together. You can't resurrect people. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Rusty takes souls, uh, takes it takes it to Falumbra. Falumbra rearranges soul energy into new souls, and Martha creates new life for the souls to inhabit. So then how do you explain the ever-increasing, oh, so slightly, population? Where Where is all this new soul material coming from? Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe gods aren't finite. Maybe there's just less insects in the world, but also more humans. Mm. Ooh, that's some outside of the box thinking. So what you're telling me is you're part insect. Well, is the biomass of the planet finite, or can gods keep increasing the amount of biomass? I don't think biomass has anything to do with souls. That's it. These are unrelated. You could have. You could have a one soul with more biomass in it. Yeah, well, elves have larger souls than humans. Oh. Uh, yeah, so like a, ne- a human necromancer, those abominations, they they can they gain a lot of life energy when they uh, absorb the soul of an elf, for instance, while they would absorb a normal amount of soul energy for humans. Anyway, uh, I have to disagree with you. I say that resurrection is in fact capable and possible. It's just that every priest has been too much of a pansy to actually try it. Hmm. Well, I heard there was a priest uh, who attempted it a few years back, but they uh, died when they used the scroll. Hmm. Well, it's at this point in time they, they that you notice reading it wrong. somebody <laughs> has already come into the bar and is now sort of like walking back to the door, hanging their head low, uh, sort of upset. As Lizzie comes around from the back side of the bar, hands on her hips, like scanning the crowd. And it's at this point that Sir Walker, casually looking over there, accidentally makes eye contact with Lizzie, and she meets your gaze directly and starts walking towards you, Sir Walker. I just keep on staring, because I've never lost a staring contest in my life. All right. She blinks on her way over there. So you definitely win the staring contest. All right. I, I turn back towards towards my other party. <laughs> <laughs> you turn away just as she arrives at the table and puts both her hands on it and says, ah, the three of you. What? I need your Hi. help. Okay. There was a massage therapist that was supposed to be visiting me. One of the best... Trained in a distant land, but his wagon broke down. Miles and miles that way, near the big bridge. Not the small bridge, but the big bridge. bridge. And he's insisting that he will not walk the remaining distance, that he's going to stay in his tavern at the big bridge until a new wagon comes for him. I know this sounds like the most boring an easy job you've ever had because it's only at the big bridge but I need you to bring that massage therapist here do you know how long it's been since I've had a massage my back is killing me my hips are killing me you try raising a child and Desmond at the same time okay (laughs) wait I'm sure it's difficult how big of a bridge is this is this is this a, a giant massage therapist well, he is a minotaur, so he's quite large. I, I just assume it's the big bridge that you cross going to the Thornwall Red yes, side, the, the, over the big river. It's the big stone bridge, 10 feet wide, yeah. Yeah. 7 feet long, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got across it a few days ago. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> well, hmm. yeah, I had to cross and get here from with Thornwall Red side. Right, do you have a wagon lined up to get him over here? 
Yeah, I'll find a cart around town or something. I just need someone to go pick him up and bring him back. All right. How much to pay? It's not that far. A grand each. All right. She looks All around right. for approval from the party. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think gold's yeah, good. Yeah. Not... I know. I it should be easy, one yeah. and done. You know. Yeah. Should be just a new run. What could go wrong? She shrugs. What? It's, what can go wrong, right? You know what's in these woods around here. You know what can go wrong. Two grand each. I really need a massage. Unless one of you's a good massage therapist. Any of you? Let me check my proficiencies now. <laughs> All right. I've got anatomy, but <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I've... Well, we don't have a cart. I'll, here, let me go get a cart. And she walks around. <laughs> Heads out of the building, walks around. You hear some shouting. There's some shrieking. The sound of like wood clattering on wood. And a few minutes later, she comes back around uh, with a hand resting on a, an ox's head, kind of scratching him as a cart pulls in front of the town, uh, in front of the shop. Hmm. And she steps in, and goes, "Here's your cart." All right, uh, all right, let's go, boys. All right. Anyone got uh, piloting or whatever you do with a cart? On land oh, that's on you, bud. You're the cleric. Let's go. All right, I'll I'll try to pilot it. Yeah, yeah sure. you, you can you can drive the cart. It might be yeah, a little sure. bit awkward. You won't make the best, most efficient time, but uh, you'll still get there. It is right. a 36 mile journey, so that's going to be a two day drive for you guys. Oof. Mm -hmm. 36 miles in two days. God, the old world was so slow. <laughs> <laughs> that's on a road with a cart. <laughs> could do that shit in 15 minutes well probably not 15 minutes that would be, mm, like be speeding half an hour half an hour yeah, yeah. don't do it in 15 minutes kids <laughs> all right i mean i, I definitely know a couple people have easily done that on the road oh God, i don't think i've sustained those speeds but well, yeah on the <laughs> yeah okay. anyway <laughs> Um, it should be an easy thing to go down to this thing and get this Minotaur and, and come on back, right? Easy mission. Oh, um, what's his name? What's the Minotaur's name so we don't get the wrong Minotaur? How many massage therapist Minotaurs can there be? You never know. All right. All right. His name is Hans. Hans. Convenient. Yeah. Uh, Hans the massage the therapist. And the goes, huh? No, he's not talking about you. Oh. <laughs> but he might reappear later if I die <laughs> <laughs> alright here you guys go off along the road through the forest easy day wow, there's so many forest night tracks here we go easy day as you cruise through the woods easy day easy day um, do you guys believe it's actually an easy day or is this just a bunch of lies Oh, this is absolutely 100% a bunch of lies. Oh, I'm just concentrating on the ride. The dungeon master. Trying to make sure I don't crash. What were you, what were you about pretty to say easy. there, Brian? I was going to say it's a pretty, pretty easy day. Pretty easy day? Yeah. 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 I've never driven a car before, so yeah, I'm really trying to focus. All right. Driver, give me a perception check. All right. Beautiful weather, nice easy Three. road. Driver crits his perception check. I'm, done. Um, I'm really alert trying to make sure I don't crash. <laughs> mm hmm. It makes sense. Nice. Uh, as you're cruising in the cart and the other two are in the back bumping along with it, no, you I'm, I've see. I've got a microphone with me. I guess, yeah. Sure. I guess you're walking alongside. Yeah. Um, you see a small group of goblins kind of on the side of the road poking their head out through some bushes looking left, looking right, and then they see the cart, and they kind of like lower themselves back into the bushes. You count just a few. Uh, you rolled a natural 20, so I'll give you an exact count on them. Just let me roll it. Mm. Um, yeah, it's actually just two goblins. It's just a pair. Mm, perfect. Oh, there's two goblins over there. Oh, sweet, I'll take care of them. And then... All right. Uh, Nakfer and I march on over to the bush. You think any of them are massage therapists? 
Well, uh, they did... it's too late to figure that out. All right, you march Most of on. Your name's Hans. <laughs> you march on over to the bush. Yeah. The goblins are hidden within, you presume. Yep. Yep. And then uh, I'll just have Nacrefer trample them through the bush. I've got a giant ass fucking metal dragon. <laughs> All right, well, How make me some. Dragon make me some claw attacks at minus four because you sure. can't see them in the bush. But you're definitely attacking their square. How many uh, how many claw attacks do you want? Five? Uh, Let's go how, five. Is that how many you can make in a round? Yeah. Stupid broken necrofer. All right, go ahead. Make all five of your attacks. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two you hits. That's the whole range. Yeah, you just stomp on the bush. Roll me some damage. And boom. Easy, yeah. Uh, you find there is little bits of goblin coming up between Nycrofer's toes that you are now realizing you're gonna have to clean out later. Um, maybe not the biggest of deals, but yeah. you Perfect. know, squished goblin. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Well, on you guys go, continuing your journey. Um, let's see. The first day passes without any problems. Conveniently, there's a whole bunch of rations in the wagon. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably spend the night or like spend like half an hour cleaning the gunk out of neck for squat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. All right. Next day you arrive at the, the big bridge in town. Uh, at, the, uh, at the big bridge, not in town. In the wilderness. No, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But do you think it's the tavern on this end of the bridge or the tavern on the other end of the bridge? It's on this end. Is it, it's right. actually on like both of them. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, there are a like, couple buildings on both sides. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering which set of taverns. I didn't get that. It, it's pretty simple. You're gonna walk up to someone's like, yo, which place is the Minotaur staying at? <laughs> they jerk a thumb towards the big tavern on the other side of the bridge. Oh, the far side of the bridge, okay. Sweet, mm -hmm. thanks, bro. I don't like flicking my copper. Catches it, gives you a wave. Yeah. I start to um, get the wagon to cross the bridge. Yeah, you cross the bridge, no problem with the wagon. And sure enough, there's a tavern on the other side. It's a, a got a fairly small footprint, but it's three stories tall. Looks like it's been recently renovated. There are brand new Spanish tiles on the roof. Uh, um, there's a couple of people hanging out. There's a little bit of music coming from within. There's um, some sort of like twangy thing going off in there. You know, like um, a fiddle or whatever. Mm. Yeah. It seems just like an ordinary day in an ordinary section of the world. Nothing fancy happening at all. Perfect. Let's make it a little extraordinary. Um, right. Walk in the bar. I pull right. the reins to uh, park the vehicle where I can. I just don't know what the parking situation is like here. <laughs> well, uh, you got to find a meter, which is just a kobold standing nearby who <laughs> counts very slowly. And then once he reaches a certain point, like puts a ticket on your car. Otherwise, just stands there in front of your, your creature, just like munching away and slowly counting to a thousand. How many ones is that? <laughs> It's a complicated thing. It could drive a man insane trying to figure out how the kobolds operate. But that's how the meters work here. Uh, I park. All right. I wait with the wagon. Copper, says the kobold. Copper, copper, copper. Uh, here, here's a copper. Copper, copper, copper. Uh, can I just give you a larger amount of copper than you don't bother, bother me? Kobold shrugs. Yeah, yeah okay. I cost him the silver. He throws it on the ground. Copper! Yeah, it's not. I don't have any copper. Dead copper. Oh my god, you guys don't even have any copper. You don't have exact change for the parking meter? You can't just put dollar bills in a, a coin slot. Yeah. They just put, that's all I'll pay walk up to him and in Cobble say, how much copper? Copper, copper, copper. In Cobble? Yeah. Three. Copper, three. copper, three. Copper, copper. Yeah, he said three times. Well. Three copper, yeah. Yeah. I'll, like, toss him three copper. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he just sits there and in common goes, one, one. Do I have to make a sanity check? One. <laughs> Only if you sit and listen to him for a long time. I'll be, okay, hurry. I'll send him, it's like, 
for like 15, 20 seconds just to see rate that he counts at. I'm like, damn, that's actually pretty clever. I don't think even I can fuck that up. Like, go up to him say one. I was like, shit, no, he's not going to get lost. You just keep saying one. Uh, I mean, his, his rate is obviously, it's one every one. Right? One per one per one. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, we go in there. We find the Minotaur. Oh, you find the Minotaur. No problem. <coughs> he's seated on the ground floor, taking up two stools at the bar. He's got his horns that look like they've been just polished or waxed or something. The light is shining off of them in interesting ways. Uh, he's got a big plate of stew with potatoes in front of him and a giant tankard of ale next to him. Mm. I see. Why is Yo, you Hans? There he Hans? You get the, you get the I am Hans. What do you want? Excellent. We've got your cart. We're here to take you to Berkshire. Ah, finally, the cart has come. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Well, yeah, what time of the day is it, Neil? Um, it it's early. Day and a half. Wouldn't it Perfect. be day? You ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. Let me just get my bag from upstairs. And uh, the Minotaur slams down his tankard, turns around, trucks upstairs. You can hear the heavy thud, thud. Thud, 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 as he goes. Perfect. All right. He comes back downstairs with his stuff, uh, walks out to the cart, sees the kobold counting, chucks his stuff in, and hops in the back without saying anything. All right, let's get uh, out of here. Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, hello. How are you doing today? I'm good. Are you? Yeah. Uh, lawful good. Gives you a single nod of uh, understanding and acceptance. Uh, uh, I'll pull the wagon out and uh, turn about <coughs> back to Berkshire. Yeah, you turn around the cart, you start heading back across the bridge, and that's when you see it on the ground. On the other side of the bridge, past that, that's not even a town, but past the collection of buildings on the other side of the bridge. A there is a note lying on the ground. Not just lying, but like staked into the ground. That didn't take long. Like we were here for literally five minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll start on that side. I missed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, I'll read the note. Uh, it is scrawled in the language of goblins. Does anyone oh, read goblin? No. Oh, they're upset. Um, I was just like toss it. All right. You just toss it. Yeah, I don't read All Goblin. Right. All right, you just toss it. it. It's fine. Yeah. I don't have comprehend language. I didn't know goblins could write. Yeah. Wait, you said you have comprehend language. I said I don't have comprehended language. Oh, actually, I might. <laughs> Does it really matter what they said anyway? I feel like it Yeah, does. no, we'll just kill the shit out. Oh, yeah, I do have comprehend languages. <laughs> no, I don't care. Well, you don't have to use it, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I stick with that. I, I still, like, toss it out. Hey, on, uh, do, do you read Goblin? No, why would I read Goblin? That's a yeah. language for silly people. <clears throat> that, yeah. yeah. Uh, I just read Drakissian and Old Common. Hmm. You know, the Vodun Empire, you know, was the empire of Arcadia. But, you know, it fell in decline, but the old common stays with us as the old language of record. And I didn't go give a history lesson <laughs> about the old Vodun Empire. It, All right. Very interesting. <laughs> well, you ignore the goblin note and mm -hmm. press on down the road. <laughs> Clearly, it couldn't have been that important, right? Yeah, just um, not reading that goblin note was the most important decision you've made all session. Eh. Eh. Wasn't it squashing the goblins really more important yeah. than the note? <laughs> How would you know without having read the note? How could you know? Uh, I, I, 
for some reason, I just want Kaz blessing the whole party now, right now, okay? Everyone, you got plus one to your next saving throw. Oh, very well. Yeah. Does Hans want to get blessed as well? It's a plus one to sure. saving throw. Bless? Me? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Bring it on, baby. Martha's lie. Bless you. Life I did me. not sneeze, <laughs> though. <laughs> no, no, no. You just got plus one to your next saving throw. What is a, a saving check. throw? I do not know this thing. Well, let's say you're trying to massage someone and it's a nine out of ten. With the blessing of Martha. No, that is silly. I always give 100% in all of my massages. Okay, I could never it. only do a half ass job. But let's say you get uh, 100%, it'd be 110%. You can never give 110%. That is a misnomer. Well, the best you can do is give 100%. Will. It's divine will. It doesn't work with normal conventions, it breaks the rules. That's no such thing as 110%. Don't be silly. But it's, it's Massage is not influences. a silly art. It is important. Do not mess it but, up. But like. what if an external influence adds to the amount of your actual capacity? If your capacity is 100, then the god does 10% extra. Then my capacity you. is now 100%. It is just a different 100%. But it's not your 100%. It's your 100 <laughs> plus 10% is extra. You can never have more than 100%. That is the very definition of 100%. Actually, no, the definition of uh, percent is out of 100. So you cannot have more than 100%. That would be Oh, no, no, you extra. absolutely can. No. Because but if you had 110 out of 100, you would have 110% because it is 110 out of 100. That is a, a thought exercise that has no practical application in the real world. It actually How do you measure does, some of the things performance against previous performance if you... What is criteria. this obsession with measuring everything? Why not just live in the moment and feel my big hands on your back? No, thank you. Because we're in the middle of the woods, and who knows what could possibly jump out at us at any given moment, and I'll, like, look around. <clears throat> and as you look around, the <laughs> goblin arrows begin to fly. There uh, is an ambush on the road waiting for you. I take not total evasion action. You can't. It's an ambush. Ambush. No, 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 I, I, I'm cowardly just hiding behind my shield. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here are our goblins. Do they have Where did hit the dice? Come from? There we go. They're coming from this ridge. Perfect. Yes. Um, a whole slew of them fire in your general direction by surprise. I'll just need some more d20s though. And you threw away the note, right? You didn't even take it with you. It's just, it's gone oh, yeah. back it's, there it's on the road gone. somewhere. Oh yeah, it's 100% gone. Uh, it, you'll never understand goblin. the rest of the, you'll never understand the plot now. It's fine. You'll just you wade through it on your own and be like, I have no idea what's going on, but it's okay. We're just gonna murder goblins. It's mm -hmm. perfect. Gonna murder all of them. All right. okay. okay. So we, there are uh, four of you Six mm -hmm. of them. So they're going to take two shots at the driver. They're going to take <laughs> two shots at Sir Walker. So the um, driver dies. They're not going to shoot the kobold because he doesn't look threatening yet. Uh, but they are going to attack the mechanical drag. Oh, but they also need to attack the massage therapist. Hold on. So we're going to do three on the dragon, one on the driver, one on Sir Walker, one on the minotaur. And they'll get second attacks at the end of the round. So, um... Kenny, they mm -hmm. hit you. They they make a three plus four for surprise. Uh, it's a seven against you, Sir Walker. It's a seventeen. Nope, miss. Nope. All right, and the Minotaur gets hit with a twenty-two. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually uh -huh. think that's crits the Minotaur because it's natural eighteen. Well, just give so. me the wound amount because if it's five or one, I can heal it. It is five. Exactly. All right. All right. So I can the Minotaur is wounded. He is a second level massage therapist, so he has 2d8 HP plus whatever his Minotaur base is. Mm. Uh, what Minotaur lot. start with 10? Uh, plus Eight? 5. Plus 5? All right. Min yeah. He's got 15 HP then. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and he took 5 damage. 
Yeah, perfect. They also have a con bonus, but don't, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then let's see the two shots against. Three shots. Three shots against the mechanical dragon are an eight, a twenty-two, nope. and a twenty-three. I can't heal those ones. That's nice. Uh, I know they rolled an eighteen and a nineteen, and they get plus four because yeah. it's an ambush. Um, what's Sniper for his AC? Seventeen. Ooh, so the 22 and the 23 are both crits. Yeah. All right, Nycrofer will take five from the first crit. Okay. And eight from the second crit. Holy crap. It's not so much that the arrow damages the metallic dragon. It just, like, gets shot right into a couple of, like, areas where there's some sensitive gears that are moving back and forth and gums up the works, and the dragon is now just like... (laughs) And you need to, like, stop and like repair him to properly get out all the little bits of everything that are now jammed in between your shits. Um, and second attacks against- So you said he rolled a five and an eight? Um, an 18, yeah, five and an eight for damage. Uh, another seven against you for the second attack, Kenny. Sir Walker, yeah, the second attack against you is a natural 19 modified 24, 23. Is it a crit? Yeah, it crits. Nice. My surprise. For four damage. That's fine. Yeah. I could heal that. Yeah. The Minotaur gets a seven against him, which is a miss. And the three extra shots at Nycrofer are um, eight, 12, and 15. Nope. Okay. The first round is over. The kobolds have ambushed you. They begin shouting and jabbering at you. Does anyone speak kobold? Goblin. Goblin. Goblin? Goblin. No. All right. <laughs> no one understands what is happening. But it's fine. Let's roll initiative. Um, for everyone. Right. Right. Ah, right. Uh, what's. That's, yeah, three to speed up the cart. <laughs> Are you going to just keep driving? Oh, okay, yeah. All right. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll do a battle champ while I'm doing it, but. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're just gonna keep on driving. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Minotaur lays low in the car and says, "Get me out of here." <coughs> working on it. Working on it. Alrighty. First up is one of these goblins over here, and she is gonna take a shot at. Um, she's gonna take a shot at Kenny. Uh. Which is. A, it's now it's just a six because you're alerted to their presence. So no more plus right, four to hit. Yeah. All right. Second goblin takes a shot at Sir Walker. It's a 15. Yes. Third goblin takes a shot at Nycrofer. It is a two. Nope. So the, it's just a small rain of arrows pepper the ground around you, but to no avail. And then Nycrofer's turn comes along. Uh, I'm going to like, run up here. And then... Uh... I'm gonna fire breath and turret all of them. Oh my god! Okay. Um, how many people can I get with the turret? Did you say that's what three people with the turret? Since it's just a line, the other is a cone. Yeah. Get everyone with the cone. So we'll just roll that. What's the distance on the cone? Is it 15 feet? It's 20 feet and Perfect. 10 feet at the end. Perfect. Uh, 12 damage, and it's a saving throw versus breath weapon? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we've got two 16s on the saves. What is the saving throw for a first level fighter? I think it's 17, though. Or maybe that's a uh, zeroth level. Well, yeah, this would be a zeroth level. Or they would be zeroth level. Uh, no, they'll take. They've got one hit die, so they get first level fighter saves. But it's a seventeen that they need to pass, and so they all get incinerated by Nycrofer instantly. And the goblins are gone. Yep, oh. perfect. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, says the Minotaur. Goblins. Well, clearly they were goblins, but why are the goblins in my on the road? What have uh, you done? All right. All right, um, let me let me use the light of Martha to heal you all. And uh, uh, so, Walker, I heal you for, I heal your hate for damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hans, may I heal you? Yes. You're healed for 
your da- damage harms. Yes. Uh, Nycrofer's alive, right? Because no. he's got a soul. Oh, Nycrofer's definitely alive. I'm it's gonna just... try, but my. It's a very complicated Martha. version His soul of life. in front of me is injured, even though the body's mechanical. Please heal their wounds. No. No. Do you get back an incompatible uh, input error? Alright. I'll try it. At least its feelings helped. Like, was it, was it hurt inside? Not on the outside, but inside. Yeah. Um... No, I don't think Necrofer gets offended by being shot at by goblins. Probably gets Uh, angry. Yeah. I mean, one of the things from the spell I did say was sentient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, I'd say it's definitely a thinking, feeling creature. I would agree with those statements. Yeah. It's just by the rules of the gods, he isn't technically alive. Yeah, he's some interesting, weird thing. Not quite a person, not quite not a person, but he's sort of a, but he's a person, you know? Yeah. Well, a construct of a soul wouldn't be healed either. Maybe that's it. Yeah. All right. Now, necromancer, they might be able to heal you, though. I mean, I can fix this up. Just takes a while. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems that I'm muffed. I can't repair metal, I'm afraid. Sorry. Happens. Maybe Sayor might be able to heal metal. I don't know. You got well, a craft, the crafting one or something? Yeah, yeah, the God of Crafting. Okay, Ooh, you guys... Hair spell. That's I never thought of that. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, like I don't have hair. that one. But I hear uh, those Sayor clerics do have uh, holy blessings that allow them to repair things and build things. The cart drives on. Can I get yeah. another perception check from Kenny? Okay. Oh, just Kenny? Just Kenny. Why just Kenny? Because I'm just uh, asking uh, for it uh, from uh, Kenny. A 17. Just a 17. Enough. Yeah. I'm distracted talking about um, repairing things. <laughs> Excellent. So Kenny doesn't recognize this uh, pothole that's been in the road up ahead because he's too busy chatting with things. And the wagon hits the hole, and the le- the the whole wheel goes, and, and uh. it's you know it's a nice big pothole, so you're gonna actually get out of the wagon, lift the car up, and get it out. Like it's just you know you don't have modern cars, you don't have modern drivetrains. Uh, it's just too big of a hole for you to pull yourself out of without getting out. So the whole party's yeah. got to step out of the wagon, start to rearrange it. It's a pain in the butt. Um. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm just a little cold, but I can't help with that. I'm not strong enough. Well, I've got just strength, and we've got a big... Uh, I'm just going to, like, look around. Like, what, what, why are these goblins after us? Uh, well, give me a perception check while you look around while Sir Walker and the others untangle the wagon, Mr. Kobold, who's too small to help out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 25. There's goblins in these woods. Right. They're right there. They're staring at you. They're only a few feet away. They're Where? just waiting for something in the bushes right next to you. Oh, in the bushes right next to me? You mean right here? Just right next to you. The other bushes, this one. Oh, whoops. This Chat one. can't see. What have I done? I can't. Oh, because I'm on the wrong layer. This bush over here. Oh, right. Okay. That makes sense. That bush? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Um, oh, the axle seems fine. I think we just get better, get hmm. it back right up, right? How, how many do I see, Neil? Uh, you spot three goblins. All right. I'll, uh... I, I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll I'll walk I'm over here. Your words. <laughs> and <clears throat> you said I can see them, yeah? Uh, yeah, they're crouching. They're watching you and the others. Um, I'll, like, start playing with the, the flamethrower turret on top. Like, not actually... Just kind of, like, swiveling like, it? Swiveling it, point it at them, swivel it a bit, point it at them, like, maybe make a few small jets burst out. I want you to give me a charisma check to, like, do this while looking like it's not part of anything threatening. To do this Perfect. in a... Just a chill way. 
Almost. There's something Ooh. about the way the turret keeps pointing towards them that has set these goblins on edge, and they're going to attack. But you've seen them, and I think you can ri raise the call oh, before yeah. it gets too late. But they are goblins, and all of a sudden they're everywhere. Now, there's too many damn goblins, so we're all just going to take turns rolling initiative for the whole party because um, there's just too many of these suckers. So someone roll me initiative with a modifier of zero and beat an eight. I got it. There you go. The party goes first. Perfect. Well, I don't know about the goblins yet, so I'm still yeah. in the car. There's more goblins in the bushes surrounding us. Ah, uh, battle him. And then uh, come over here. And uh, I'll do a claw at each of them. 16 hit. hits. Yep. And a miss. Miss. 24 uh, is a, a many layered crit. Hit. And this, so uh, they're against separate ones. Oops, that's oh, the, uh, so. only melee weapons. Sorry. Yeah, I can't help you yep. with that. <laughs> so top oh. one. Takes five takes five. Would Nicrophobia okay. be affected by my battle aura? Well, That's an interesting question. To, yeah, Nicrophobia would have uh, to wear the uh, symbol, though. That's the middle true. one takes 14. Dead. And then the bottom one takes eight. Dead. Easily then, slain. Yep, and oh, then I still I'm, have two more attacks. So turn two, this way one, and two, I'll... One, two, three, four. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, no, one more attack. One more attack. My bad. Okay. And then I'll shoot a spine at one of the these guys okay for uh that'll crit and <laughs> they both um, have the same amount of xp hp oh denzies all right sir walker all you right. see nitro first start shredding things and you can see goblins popping out all over the place how many i see like three or four of them i guess there yeah. you four of them. Uh, <laughs> I feel, honestly, this whole time, I've been pretty disappointed. I haven't been able to do anything. And this is just, this is not even, this is almost not worth my time. But I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll go up to the, the biggest trunk that I see here. Uh, take out just my regular sword and mm -hmm. uh, just yeah. wing it kind of half-heartedly. This uh, is not your brain. holy Avenger that you... No, no. Okay. I'm, this is not a, this is not a war. This is... Okay. That's fair. 21, yeah, easy hit. Throw me some damage. In fact, no, that's not quite a crit. It's almost. Well, you're out of range of my thing, so you don't get my bonus. Okay, um, combat. Yep, you drop a healthy goblin. Uh, you drop a healthy goblin. Right. Do you, that's your only attack this round? That's it, yep. Okay. Uh, and Kenny. Yeah, well, I did the uh, battle him, and uh, I stayed back to see if anyone was healing. You're just gonna stay back, hang well, out. Uh, evasion, total evasion. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Um, excellent. Goblins turns, because you know the Minotaur. He he helps you get the the wagon out. He's a big strong yeah. guy, and that's yeah, a, yeah. his action. The yeah. remaining goblins, the two on Sir Walker. Uh, one of them will skirt around to the other side of you uh, and score a natural 20 against you. All right. I it's not that, a crit, yeah. but it's a hit. No hit. Uh, the goblin gets his... What do he's got? He's got a, a sharpened rock on the end of a stick, and he skewers you down the boot for one point of damage, cutting you along the thigh. The other goblin only rolls a nine. Um, right. This one bursts out from the trees, running, screaming, full tilt towards Nycrofer. Stabbing the dragon with a natural 19. Yeah, um, is that enough room for a <clears throat> charge? No, it's not enough room for a charge. Uh, doesn't matter. So he will stab Nycrofer for two points of damage. Very well. Meanwhile, way back over here in this bush, one goblin steps out and runs down the road, like as fast as its little goblin feet will carry it. The other three come on out. Two of them take shots with their bow, uh, both of them against Nycrofer, because they still don't understand that Shag is not just part of the dragon. Uh, they're confused Shags. by him. Yeah, 
Uh, one and an 11 to hit is no good, and the last one will... You can't quite see Kenny. The Minotaur's got some cover. Sir Walker's got cover from other goblins. Let's go, let's go for Sir Walker anyway. He comes back over to this side of the pool. Takes a shot at Sir Walker. 17 to hit? Yes. Hmm, okay. Does anyone have second attacks? No. Nope, no. all right. Two more shots at Nightcrawler from the goblins with their bows. Six and a three. The shots go tall and wide. And the last one at Sir Walker's a 13, embedding itself in your armor and then falling to the ground harmlessly. The party is not quite surrounded by goblins, but they are plentiful. Um, why don't we take our first break right here in the middle of combat? Oh, I know. And when we come back, we'll see a lot more. See you guys on the other side of a break. Bye-bye. Very well. Bye.